so hi everyone google has just now dropped firebase studio which can now generate web applications given just a prompt so now this there is a huge number of applications that are doing the same thing be it cursor replit bolt firebase studio so in this particular short video i would be explaining you the difference between the all four and what to use when so it's like which of these ai ids are the best and which one should you use or pay for it so let's get started here is the summary of the entire video you can see here and now we will be jumping on to the details of what are the core features of all these four platforms pros and cons weaknesses and then we'll jump on to which is best for which use case so let's get started so starting off with the core features google firebase studio is a air powered prototyping that generates full stack apps from nlp like i think it's the same for all the four built in gemini ai for code generation Seamless integration Firebase services. I think this is very important. Visual editing with click and point UI adjustment. So this is something a unique feature they have added. You can go draw in the UI and then that gets updated in the code as well. Free tier is provided for everyone. One click deployment is provided. QR code is also given so that you can run the application in mobile. Change rollback capabilities. So a number of features has been given in Google Firebase Studio. And I think feature wise, this is the richest for now. Cursor AI, I think we all know it's a fork of VS code, agent mode for handling multiple file tasks, context aware AI, custom style guidance via cursor rules file. I think this is a very important feature they have. Automatic linting, terminal prompt suggestion, AI chat interface, refactoring code is also given, commit message generation is also given, free tier is available for use and pro plan is $20 per month. For Gemini, uh, for Google Firebase Studio, there is no paid tier announced as of now replit core i think replit is the known web dev developer for using ai browser based cloud id so it's not in local it's browser based real time multiplayer col collaboration replit agent for automated workflows is there strong with python so if you are using python i think replit is the king built in hosting capabilities it can also host i think cursor is missing the hosting capabilities if i missed out Direct deployment from ID, basic tier is also present and paid is $25 per month. And now coming to the last one, Bolt, AI prototyping from NLP, natural language, real-time collaborative editing is provided, lighter backend integration than Firebase and the premium is $20 per month. Now this is a table that we are looking into AI capabilities. Firebase uses uh, Gemini 2.5 Pro, so this is the best LLM for now. Cursor uses advanced GPT-4, Replit agent automates setup testing deployment. Bolt supports limited AI. So this is a weakness that you need to note. Development workflow. Integrated prototyping, coding and deployment. Everything can be done in Firebase Studio. Developer focused with Git integration in cursor. Deployment is not present. Similarly, Replit and Fire Studio has the same number of features. Fully automated from coding to deployment. Bolt, simplest workflow but not scalable, I think. So Bolt is more for basic uh, building POCs and all. Collaboration feature, uh, features, real-time collaboration is present. Pair programming is present here also. Best live multiplayer editing. So in, in terms of collaborative features, I think Replit is the king. Language support, React, Next.js, Angular, Flutter, Python, in Firebase Studio. Cursor has the widest range. Replit is strongest in Python and in bold, they are basic web, uh, web stacks. In terms of pricing for Firebase, the uh, pricing hasn't been introduced yet. But for Cursor, Replit and Bold, the prices are almost similar per month. Talking about the strengths and weaknesses, Firebase Studio, tight Firebase GCP integration. I think this is the best part. AI prototyping from sketches. You can draw a sketch and it can give you a prototype. So this is amazing. Free during preview. Cons are early stage. I just tested it out and there are some bugs present there and limited language support is there. Talking about Cursor. Pros, professional great feature, full VS Code compatibility, that's true. Cons, it's, it's a little difficult to learn. Manual deployment is needed. Deployment features are not present. And I would say that it is more developed also compared to the all four. It's the oldest one. Replit, best for beginners. I think no doubt about it. And built-in hosting databases, less flexible for complex applications. Bolt, fastest for MVPs. Zero setup is required. Not for production, to be very honest. Not talking about the final recommendations. For AI apps with Firebase, use Firebase Studio. Professional developers, use Cursor. Teams and beginners, use Replit. And quick prototypes, use Bolt, but not for scaling. Thank you so much. I hope this was useful.